everybody, it's Sandra from the Funky Pickle Thrifter. Thank you so much for joining me today. So I thought it would be fun to take a look at the favorite pieces that I bought in 2021. Now I was gonna just do five or 10 and then I got a little bit carried away. <laughs> so this video might be kind of long. I mean, I really just got so many beautiful pieces. A lot of them came from that antique store haul that I did. Um, I think a lot of people already know, right? That I bought out the contents. Uh, well, not all of the contents, but I bought out five or 600 pieces from a jewelry store. Uh, that wasn't in business anymore. So that's where I got a lot of this stuff. But I'll talk a little bit about where I got these things if I remember, and that's about it. Let's get started. Thanks again for coming, everybody. So here's a great modernist sort of avant-garde design. I love this bracelet. This was part of the jewelry store haul. It is Pierre Cardin. How awesome is this? Now, I did find one like it on the internet, finally. I've been waiting for one to come up and they're asking about a thousand for it. It's not precious metal, just costume jewelry, but this is gorgeous. I kind of do want to sell it because I'm not wearing it and I feel like, you know, it should be enjoyed. But yeah, it's just worth a bunch is all. So I'm going to put a couple of things on the screen so you can see kind of how far out his designs were. I love him. He's super cool. He actually lived a nice long life, too. I think he just died in 2020. Really cool 1970s modernist bracelet. Here is a mystery item. I can't figure out what this is. I bought this when I was on vacation with my husband. You know, when I go on vacation, I thrift and stuff like that. And that's where I got this. Well, actually at a yard sale, it was a dollar. Now this is peacock eye glass. And uh, you can see it is absolutely gorgeous. This is an antique. I don't think they make this kind of glass anymore. Anyway, I think this is pretty much fantastic. I just don't know what it is. That's what this part looks like. So I don't know if this is like, uh, I just don't know what it is. If anybody knows, <laughs> this is such a mystery. Everybody had such a different idea of what it was. Somebody said maybe it was like a Chatelaine thing. Gosh, I just don't know. What I know is I love it. Now, when I bought it at the yard sale, you know, I feel like when you buy things at yard sales, especially, it's your one chance to get the history of the piece. So when I picked this up, I said, hey, what is this? And she says, my grandmother or my great grandmother or something wore it in her hair. But it doesn't seem like, you know, you would put this part in your hair. I don't understand it. Anyway, it's a mystery. It's antique. I love that peacock glass. And yeah, that's definitely one of my faves. If you know what it is, just tell me. I just did an art deco video and here's my little flapper pin. Isn't this cute? It's Sterling, and she has an onyx hat on, and I think this is adorable, mother of pearl collar. There's like a couple little dings right there. I mean, I don't think it's really detracts that much. I found this at a yard sale, and it was sort of like one of those fundraiser ones, you know, where things are really overpriced, but they had a bunch of jewelry, and the jewelry was a dollar each or two dollars each, and I actually found it in that bunch. So this one slipped past the goalie. I think this is really a kind of an interesting and adorable thing. It's a, a brooch or a pendant. So anyway, that's my little flapper girl. Look at this cool thing. I love this. Now this one I got in sort of like an antique jewelry store. So I did pay up for it. I don't know what, like 40 or $50, something like that. Maybe a little bit more. I don't care. I treated myself. I don't usually do that, but I thought this was really amazing. Now, I don't know if this is, somebody said it's a sea dragon. So I thought at first it was a seahorse, but maybe it is a sea dragon. I had never heard of such a thing. So thank you for that. You know, it's so great because so many people write in the comments, like they help me out with what things are. I don't know everything, that's for sure. Um, but I think this is pretty amazing. It says silver made in Mexico. It has some nice weight. And I think it's really interesting. And I think this part is gold too. I think that's, I think it's marked 14 karat gold. I think I could be wrong about that. But that's definitely one of my faves, just because it's it's kind of odd and pretty funky, and I really like it. Check out this Trafari necklace. How beautiful is this? So you have these sort of cone-shaped ABs, 
and then these crystals right here and this glass that's sort of I think this is called blasted I think that's called blasted glass where it's sort of um, not shattered but you know it's sort of like that on purpose so I love this and this was part of the jewelry store haul so I just think it's beautiful and with it in the same box which is just amazing is this one so this is the same necklace only this one is in pink and it doesn't look like it's been worn uh, well there's just a tiny tiny bit of wear on it but I think these are just amazing I love these and I haven't really looked them up I don't know what they're worth or anything but oh man I just love these I think these are really interesting and the fact that I have a yellow and a pink one I just think it's super cool I don't like this bracelet I love this bracelet this is I don't know there's just something about it this one really speaks to me this is um, periwinkle color colored glass shaped like hearts yeah there is some little chipping here and there I think this one is from the 40s um, it looks 40s to me not marked interestingly but I think this one just sort of rocks I love it and I love the sound it makes isn't that nice let me see if I can get the mic closer really pretty right I just love this I've worn this a couple of times I think this one's just great interesting I've really never seen anything like it you know and I've seen a lot of jewelry in my day that's for sure very unique very pretty I love this old bracelet too so this is called canateel I think this is just gorgeous sorry if I'm mispronouncing that by the way but I I think this is really beautiful too so it I'll show you how the hinge works it's sort of like a trombone-ish sort of thing. Look at that. Wow. Sterling silver, of course. It is marked somewhere. I, I can't find it right now, but I know I did see it marked. I mean, I don't need to have it marked, that's for sure. It certainly is silver. That one is stunning. I think I paid up for this one, as I recall. I can't remember what, but I just love this, and I love the condition of it. Isn't this beautiful? Costume jewelry, unsigned costume jewelry. But I don't know. I just, I love everything about it. I love the sort of texture on the gold. I love these stones. And um, yeah, I like the way these things right here are sort of spiky, you know, and then this spiky thing. I just love this one. It's in really, really great condition too. That's what really sold me on it. It's just gorgeous. How about this? Isn't that nice? My camera is not properly showing how beautiful this is. This is likely a replacement here, is it? Uh, no, maybe not. Really beautiful though. This is old and gorgeous. It is missing some of its little rhinestones here. I don't care, I love it. You know, I try to buy pieces without damage, but I didn't pay a lot for it. I think this might've been part of the jewelry store thing. Anyway, I love that. I love it from the side. I think it's just really, really nicely done. Look at this stunner. This is unbelievable. So as soon as you pick this up or as soon as you look at it, it just screams quality. And this is a designer piece and it's not one that you see that often. You see right there, it says Di Nicola. So Di Nicola was a firm that was New York City based. They started in 1957 and they became Capri in 1970. But they were known for making things that really looked like real, the real deal. And I think these, this really does look like platinum or white gold and sapphires. Look at how beautiful the condition is. This was part of the jewelry store haul. I am just crazy about this. I just love this. What do you think? This was a really, really good one, right? So I hope you're not bored. It occurs to me, you know, um, if you've been watching my videos, you've seen all these before because I have shown most of these in my haul video. So anyhow, I mean, me personally, I never get tired of looking at this stuff again and again. So this was one of my favorite things. I got this in a bag of uh, junk, quote unquote, that was in a little local church thrift store. I think I got the whole bag for $5 maybe. I know I unbagged it. Uh, on one of my videos and I guess they considered this junk because it's missing a stone there and a stone there which I think I can replace but this is pretty beautiful I think it's marked 
made in Germany, right? Okay, I stand corrected. It is M-I-W Germany, made in West Germany. I love the shape of this. I love everything about this. This is gorgeous. I've worn this before with missing stones and all. I love that one. I love this one too. This is gorgeous. That one's really cool. I like the prongs, isn't that interesting? And then this one, whoa. Look at the prongs here, really big. I love this sort of chain embellishment around the sides. Very cool ring, just glass, that's for sure. You can tell that by the white on the back, right? I love all of those rings. This ring fascinates me. I just love this ring. Now it is marked sterling, but I don't think it originally came with this on it. I don't know. It's so cool though. I love Moon Glow Thermoset, which is exactly what this is. And I don't know, do you think that originally came on it? I don't, cause I, I can't find anything like it. I don't know, I just love this one. It's this one really, really speaks to me. What do you think about this one? I love it, it doesn't fit me, unfortunately. It's a beautiful, beautiful item though. I have a pretty large collection of Trafari, Monet, and Coro. This one is a Coro. Oops, I think this one came from the jewelry store. And what I really like about it is the way this wraps around. I just think that's fascinating. This is a Pegasus Coro, of course. This is just really cool, I think. I really like this whole modernist sensibility. I just, I don't know, it's kind of got a little bit of a, not a space age thing, but almost, you know? This is a neat item, I think. I really like that one. Look at this incredible necklace. Whoa, look at those rhinestones. Really, really sparkly. I don't see any dead stones. When they turn dark or black, that's called a dead stone. That happens with moisture or water. Not marked, which is really interesting because boy, this is just really beautiful. Look at all the, just the design of it. I just love it in beautiful, beautiful condition. I think this, this might've been part of that jewelry store haul. I think so. How about this one? Look at this beauty. That is made to look real for sure. This is one from the 50s. You can certainly see anybody in Hollywood wearing this. It's just gorgeous, like Natalie Wood, Grace Kelly, Liz Taylor. Yeah, it might be a little bit too small and delicate for her. See, it is kind of small, but this is just exquisite. And the stones aren't really yellowed like that. My, my camera's kind of making it seem like that. But this one is signed. Uh, one sign that it might be a better piece, by the way, is when this sort of fold over clasp, you know, it's decorated too. So they took the time to make that look good also. And it is Weiss. So in the jewelry store, she was asking $85 for that. I mean, that's not what I paid, but this one is just, just so feminine and delicate and gorgeous. Look at this thing, really, this is ginormous. That's really what I love about it. I mean, I think this is old too. This kind of looks like it's from the forties to me and it's silver because of course it is. It is marked Mexico and then silver. See the pin part comes out a little bit further. It has this rollover clasp. What a beautiful item this is. I just think it's just so, so statementy because it's giant and the workmanship on it I think is beautiful. So this one is definitely one of my favorites. Super, super cool. I think this necklace is very interesting too. I'm really attracted to this one. This one is Mark 925 right there. This is sterling and garnet beads and it is beautiful. So it's not old. We know that because of this clasp, which was patented in the mid 1990s. And this was the jewelry store haul. So she was asking 72 for this. I really like the way that they have these spacer beads here too. There's something kind of mod about this one that I just really love. Really beautiful necklace. Here's another one that came from the jewelry store haul. And if you watched that, you would have seen me kind of freak out a little bit because at the end I tested the gems and I found out that they're real. 
I think these are emeralds and these are rubies, right? Are they garnets or rubies? I can't remember now, but this is beautiful. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see my hands are getting in the way. Oops, and I also have it upside down. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this makes a lot more sense now. How pretty is that? I love this bezel setting and this definitely looks like it's very, very old. I've never seen anything like it. That's just really exquisite. What a pretty, pretty pendant this is, wow. Here's another one of my favorites. I'm just in love with this. I just love the simplicity of it. I think these, these are glass, by the way, and they are just stunning. I just love everything about this. I love the spacers. I love it. It's a little bit loose. Like, I wonder if this was restrung at some point in its life. I don't know. I don't care. I think this is beautiful. I mean, one thing you have to say about this necklace, it definitely goes with any color. Look at that. That's amazing. That's awesome. It is definitely reminiscent of pools of light, but I think pools of light don't have holes in them, right? But um, they're just so glamorous and, and sparkly and my camera is not capturing it. They're really, really beautiful in person. I bought some Whiting and Davis at an auction and this came from that auction. This is what Whiting and Davis, I mean, that's what I think of when I hear the names Whiting and Davis. I mean, besides their, their bags, their little mesh purses too, but their snake jewelry. And I don't know what the story is. I don't know if somebody like had a connection with Whiting and Davis because this looks new. That's what's kind of so, so weird about it. Look at the way the snake is wrapped around there. This is killer. I love this, you know, not real. This is just a, a base metal, and we'll see where we can see the signature. Where are you, signature? Oh, there you are. It's right there, Whiting and Davis. That's the shape of it, too, if you ever see it. Anyway, this one is one of my faves. So I'll probably sell this at some point, but I, I wanna keep it for a while. I actually have two of them. I have another one that's in white, white and gold, which I've never seen before, so. That's great. I got this one last year and in an antique store, I think. I paid up for this, I can't remember what, um, I don't know, maybe $50 or something, but I had to have it. It's This is like kind of one of the best spider pins I've ever seen. I think this is really amazing. I think it's silver too. Um, I can't remember, it doesn't matter, that's for sure. I just love it, isn't he adorable? I love the colors, I look at his eyes so awesome. Or maybe it's a she. What do you think? Yeah, it's probably a girl. Look at this showstopper. Whoa, there is a lot of stuff going on here. A lot of stuff. Beautiful prong set stones everywhere. I think this is interesting. I don't know if this is a Juliana or not. It may be. You know, people definitely know. The Juliana people know. If anybody knows, you know, uh, share it. But I'm kind of not like a big expert on Juliana. I mean, I've sold it before and stuff, but I just love this. I love the blue and then this sort of uh, aqua color and then purple together with the gold accents. I just think it's beautiful. It's in beautiful condition as you can see too. So that one is a keeper for sure. This ring was a thrift store find. I think this is a very, very interesting ring. It wraps around, it is silver. It is marked sterling somewhere in there. But I think this is super cool. I mean, you can wear it with this, like kind of going up your finger or, or down your hand. You could wear it this way too. Both ways I really love. I wore this a couple of times. This one, I don't know, something about this ring brings me happiness. I just love this ring. Speaking of rings that bring me happiness, I love this ring. It's so big, it's nuts. It isn't real, it's just cheap, but it's like the size of a human head. This is ginormous, I love this thing. I actually wear this, let me see if I can, I can put it on. What do you think about that? Whoa, that's really cool. It's not that uncomfortable either. <laughs> I love this ring, don't judge me. <laughs> super, super fun, whoa. Do you love it or do you love it?
I love it. I don't know what it is about this piece. I just love this brooch. It looks to me very 1930s, give or take, you know. I don't know. I just love it. Now, it is marked sterling right there, which I think is interesting because it seems like it's copper. I don't know if I've ever seen sterling coated in copper before, you know, copper plated sterling. I'm sure everybody else has, but <laughs> I never have. I think that is sort of stunning, isn't it? Really gorgeous. How about this little number or big number, I should say. How gorgeous. Look at the blue glass that is square. Such a beautiful, beautiful pendant. Now this is marked C-Y-C-E-E, -E -E, Cicey, I guess. Sorry, it's probably upside down. I don't know who that is, but this is a kind of to die for. That looks newer, possibly. Yeah, that kind of looks newer, right? I mean, I don't know. I am not sure. All I am sure of is that I, I'm really, really crazy about this. All glass really that's a stunner isn't it we'll do a couple more necklaces while i have my neck here look at this gorgeous check glass and brass this is kind of amazing and i found myself sort of agonizing about this thing that was hanging off that i didn't think went with it and um i just said well for heaven's sakes why don't i just take that off i don't think there's supposed to be anything hanging from that anyway i think this is the necklace i think this is correct and this is killer also wow look at that such high quality right so this is from the jewelry store not signed that one is definitely a top-notch one I think I got this one at the jewelry store too. And I just love this kind of meshy, you know, um, pattern here. This is called a bib necklace. And I love this thing. It's not old. It definitely is made to look old. There's our giveaway, the lobster claw. Um, but I love wearing this. I think this is just has a lot of drama to it. And these are glass, not plastic. Really nicely made little thing, I think. Well, big thing. I don't always buy crystal necklaces when I see them, and I do see them a lot, but if they're pink, I do, that's for sure. This one, I think what's what's kind of cool are the spacers are double. I've just never seen anything like that before. You know, you may have, I never have, and I think this is a really, really, like one of the best ones I've ever seen, actually. And there's our catch. Oops, this is crooked here but you can see embellished you know like I said back here also here and here it doesn't need to be right they just want that little extra mile that is really really beautiful sorry it's a little bit crooked so here's a very interesting necklace I had never seen this before in my life I could not figure out what it was I mean it looked like celluloid but I had never seen those patterns before so what I learned is this cam comes from a nut from a palm tree that is grown mostly in Ecuador but other places in South America as well it's called the tagua nut so this is also referred to as vegetable ivory in its natural state it is sort of the color of ivory so it's kind of a, a cool alternative to wear you know what I really like about this is it's very, very light. There's the toggle catch in the back. I just think this is very interesting. Now this came from the jewelry store. I have two of these. I think the other one is all in dark red, but this one is multicolored and I just think it's, it's very interesting. It's definitely a conversation piece. And anyway, that's what I learned about vegetable ivory uh, tagua nut necklaces. These are dyed, of course, but I think this is very unusual and very cool. Here is yet another beautiful sterling silver necklace that I got from the jewelry store. Look at that briolette. That's beautiful. I love this piece. Um, and by the way, I am going to be selling some of this stuff. I know. I keep saying it. And I'm, I'm just really getting behind. And I have to do it. You know, I have bills to pay. And I also have too much jewelry. I'm getting a little bit overrun here. 
Uh, so look out for that. I know on my eBay page, I only sell to people in the States, but when I do a show, I will sell worldwide, all right? So anyway, this one is signed Anatoly. So that is kind of a collectible thing. I don't think this is really old or anything, but it's really beautiful. And the real added plus here is it has its matching earrings. And I think this is just so striking. What a beautiful, beautiful set that is. Very delicate, right? I love this pin. There's something really kind of oddball about it. And I, I have never seen anything like it. I can't find anything like it. New York, Paris, London. It looks like a little bag you'd bring on a train, right? Or a plane. I just love this thing. I guess this is glass. It's not plastic. I know some of the paint has come off through the years. And where did I get this? I think this is the jewelry store thing. I think. I mean, I, I've sold a lot of it too. Like some of the best pieces I sold for sure. But um, yeah, I think this is just kind of unusual. And I, I don't know. I just really like this one a lot. I love this one too. I love pink and red together. And I think what's interesting is you have the ABs here and then these other pink ones are not. I just, I don't know. I just like the whole design of this. Even that sort of swirly part right there. This one's really nice. Not signed, but very, very pretty. Now I can't remember if I got this antique necklace last year or if this is the one I rescued from the clutches of the auctioneer. I accidentally gave a box of jewelry that I didn't want to sell to an auction and then I didn't look at their website. I mean, I had given them other jewelry, you know, but I didn't look at their website until the auction was like 10 minutes away from starting. So I tried to call and say, pull those pieces, pull those pieces. And they only pulled some of them. I, I don't know. I think this might be the one I saved. And um, I don't think that's marked as I'm going to check it in a minute. But I love this. Look at how it has all this height. So, so pretty. Whoa. This one speaks to me too. I love this. Definitely something like, you know, my, my grandmother or my great grandmother would wear. This is so elegant. I love that one. This one is not marked. I just double checked. And uh, by the way, it is just gold plated, but that one's beautiful. How about this beautiful necklace? This is incredible. This one looks very 20s to me. And it's in really, really great condition, too, you know, which is always uh, the most important, well, one of the most important things. You know, you could make the argument, like, would you rather have a Cartier piece that, you know, has a little bit of wear on it or something from Walmart that's perfect, you know? Um, so I can't say, like, I never buy pieces with damage or they're only always perfect, but this one kind of is. And I, oh man, what a very, very beautiful and elegant necklace that is. It's different, right? This necklace right here is a recent thrift store find. Now I went into a thrift store, one that I like to go into, but their prices are getting like ridiculous, right? Anybody else notice that? Like prices are just getting kind of stupid. So they have a lot of really just junk and their necklaces are $7 each. And so I was like, oh yeah, okay. And then I saw this one, I was like, whoa. So this, this is an advantage because it's not real and it's not designer signed. So the people who work there were just like, oh, that's just junk. Like, let's put that with the other junky necklaces. But these are glass and they're square. And I just think that is a really, really fascinating piece and it's in gorgeous condition. How much do you love this? I really do. Here's a piece from the jewelry store haul. I haven't recouped yet from that either, and I don't really care. <laughs> I got such beautiful stuff there. I really did. This one is definitely a keeper to me. I think this one is signed SW. Um, I can't remember who that is. I'll put it on the screen. I think I know. Um, I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I think I do, though. But I think this bracelet is kind of cool and I really like wearing it. It's sort of light, you know, it's a very comfortable bracelet. Of course, this is called a cuff bracelet. Just for my beginners in case, in case some people don't know. I mean, there's lots and lots and lots of stuff I don't know either. 
So anyway, we all learn together, right? It's not a contest. Oops. But um, yeah, I love this. I think it's just really, really interesting. This one is probably from the 70s, I would think. Not sure, but that's a stunning bracelet. This is one of my favorite finds this year. And what I really like about it, especially, is the frosted glass roses here. Look how pretty that is. I mean, everything about this, I think, is pretty. And I love the gold leaves. Like, I think you really need that to offset the, oops, <laughs> black chihuahuas, um, to offset the, the blue. So some of these are cabs, you know, cab navettes here. I just, I love it. I love the different shades. I think this is so interesting. Not designer signed, kind of interesting. This one is definitely a high quality one and I love it. Here's another kind of oddball one, I guess you would say. Um, it doesn't look it, but then f it's like really high and that's what's kind of cool about it. And I don't know where I got this one. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I really like this one. It almost looks like a fountain or a firework or something. I just like it. I don't know. It's kind of a cool one, I think. No rhinestones, you know, not a lot of bling, but I think it's neat. Some of you will remember this one that I just got. I actually got this from the same thrift store where I got that yellow necklace with the square glass stones. And this was just timing. You know, the woman had just come in with a box of jewelry that she took home to price. And she told me about it and I was looking through the box and it was all a big yawn. <laughs> and then I found this. I couldn't believe it. I don't know what I paid for this. I think it was 10, you know, I think it was $10 because yeah, they, they're just overpriced, that's all. But they didn't know, again, you know, this is one that isn't marked so they just think it's a nothing, like, oh, it's costume, but they don't know what we know, which is that this is very old and it's very, very interesting. Uh, did I test this one for silver? I don't think I did. Let me see if it's magnetic just for fun. So it's not, I mean, this, this chain part is, oh yeah, okay, you know what it is? It's this, this part is magnetic. This part is not, so, hmm, this might be silver. I mean, it doesn't it look it? I think it does. I'm gonna put this in my red bag to uh, test. So we'll test this one. If anybody's interested in watching that, you can do that with me. We're gonna be doing that soon too. I'm just so like, just so plowed under. I'm so super, super busy. But anyway, we will test that at a later time. Here's my antique Norwegian solja. I think solja means sunny or something like that. And this is beautiful. Now it was worn on traditional Norwegian clothing, I think called bunad. And this is just so intricate. I love the crosses on this one. Heart, crown. Sorry, it's kind of going out of focus, but you can see, get the gist here. And this is Victorian. And I think this one is lovely. Now this was the, I think the first one I, oops, the first one I ever had there. Now the focus is better. This is the first one I ever had, and since I did find one more, but it's not an old one. Yeah, this is, I just love this. Isn't that cool? One thing I don't have in my collection is any antique acrostic jewelry, but this one is acrostic, but it is, uh, you know, just newer. That's all, probably from the 60s or 70s. So this spells out a word if we take the first letter of each of these stones. I mean, this is just costume, but. It's diamond, emerald, amethyst, ruby, emerald, sapphire, topaz. So this spells out dearest, D-E-A-R-E-S-T. <laughs> so it's just sort of a little secret, you know, if you don't know, you don't know. I really need to, maybe I'll just buy one piece of antique acrostic. I feel like I need at least one piece, right? Yeah, maybe I'll go on eBay and see what's doing there. But I really, I really love this. I have to put this one in with my favorites from last year. I really love butterfly wing jewelry and this is reverse painted, but this is actually a real old one, which is what I like about it. This one is probably from the early to the mid 1920s. This is by the Shipton Company. 
Now, I think they're the people who patented or, I don't know, maybe you can't patent it, but I think they are the first ones who took the Morpho butterfly and did the reverse painting on the glass, I think. And that's why I just really like this one. These are hard to find because the wing is so, so fragile. And, um, you know, if any moisture gets on it or, I mean, and this glass could break too. But this one is, I think, a really, really fine example of a nice early Shipton Morpho butterfly wing pendant. Here's another mystery piece. I never did figure this out. So this is glass, and I got this at the jewelry store, uh, you know, the haul that I did from the old jewelry store, and I just don't know what that is. It looks like a wispy thing in there. Uh, yeah, I'm just not sure. It doesn't, it, it kind of looks like a lion when you put it in. Yeah, there it sort of looks like a lion. Hmm, I don't know. I know that, you know, regardless, I, I really do love this little pin. I do. I don't need to know what it is, but I would like to just know what it is just to have that knowledge. Really interesting piece, I think. Here's yet another one from the jewelry store haul. I think this is interesting. I don't usually see the sort of tri-corner brooches like this. And that's what I really liked about it. It was kind of odd. Uh, oh, look at the open backs. Isn't that lovely? It was kind of odd that at this place, uh, almost all the brooches that were big and blingy like this were blue. It was sort of the only color. I mean, I think I think they had one red one or one pink one, but they were all blue, which is fine with me. I mean, I love blue, but I think that's really, really cool. So, of course, I have to show this one again. I just got this one. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. Didn't pay that much for it. $9.25. So that has that same registration mark. So this one is, you know, 70s or, or newer, but completely killer, right? Nice and heavy, beautiful cab amethyst. It's just a kind of a, a gorgeous necklace. Let me put it on my neck. There it is. How about that? Wow. It's sort of like an, an art gallery piece, you know? It's just beautiful. And even the the back, you know, again, just very, very nicely made on the back. Some nice height, really, really nice weight. And of course it came with its matching earrings, which is a plus. That's a knockout. <laughs> Look at my Donald Duck. How cute is this thing? He is sterling, he is articulated, and he is fabulous, isn't he? Don't you love him? You gotta love this, really fun. I bought all these stick pins in one lot at an auction, and this is very exciting. You know, to find this many at once was pretty wild. There's some great old ones. Oh man, that's really losing focus. There's some great old ones in here. Let's see, I have two favorites. Um, okay, here's one of them, and where's my jack-o'-lantern guy? Um, hmm, la -di da -di da Okay, that's one of my favorites. Sorry, I should have done this before I started it. <laughs> um, oh, they're all really nice. But, uh... Oh, here it is. Okay. All right. So these are my faves from that lot. Well, all of them are, you know, I love all of them. Look at this one, though. That's fantastic. Now, I know this has some real value to it because people really like, you know, Halloween collectibles and it's so weird. I've never seen anything like it. I couldn't find any comps, but that one is kind of cool. Look at this sweet little thing. I love this one too. And I guess that says sterling. I never even noticed that. Did I know that? I don't think I did. <laughs> this is really nice. What I really like about this is the, the purple enamel. I've never seen purple enamel on something this old. Really beautiful little deco stick pin. But this, this one is the bomb. This is sapphire glass, which I love. 
So this is a Czechoslovakian glass and it is made from taking uh, like a bluish glass and putting gold in it, like molten gold in it. And when they skew really, oops, when they skew kind of more brownish than blue, they are older. So anyway, I, I think this is definitely a Victorian piece and I really, really am a big, big fan of sapphiric glass. Really happy with that. Thank you again so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed looking at some of my favorite pieces, I guess you'd have to say, because there's so many more. Some of my favorite pieces that I bought in 2021. All right, have a great day, everybody, and I will catch you soon. Cheers.